wear your feet a deity and our favorite deity lord ganesha and people have experienced thousands have experienced feeding ganesha we have heard in stories how to feed ganesha now by by making this a reality for every single being first swami ji is proving to the world that ganesha is real secondly he is accepting our love and devotion and every single one experiences this realizing that hinduism is real the deities are real lord ganesha is real and not only that he accepts my love he accepts my devotion just by that the trust in life this individual gets and the completion that this person gets within themselves and just radiating that love and bliss to the world i've heard of a butterfly effect where a small butterfly the flap of a butterfly in one corner of the world can have a huge impact can create a tornado in some other part of the world if a small butterfly can have that effect imagine the butterflies that are fluttering in so many hearts because of the lightness and love that swami ji has created in them just imagine the positivity that swami ji is creating around the world through the paramashivoham level 2 as well as the many thousands of programs that he has offered be part of this solution be part of this positive effect on humanity on planet earth enroll yourself in paramashivoham level 2 and experience that lightness blissfulness and experiencing yourself as paramashiva and radiating that love and positivity to planet earth as i said today i want to share this experience of manitya amrita mayananda sharing her experience of feeding lord ganesha let us watch Nityananda hi everyone my name is Manitya Amriti Mayananda I am from France and I am currently in the US um I am a participant of the program uh, Paramashivam level 2 and I am doing uh, the this video today to share about uh, my experience of that program so far Uh, we are currently in the day four, and I will share about um, the third day. So yesterday we um, had um, for instruction to uh, offer food to Lord Ganapati, uh, Lord Ganesha, who is the son of Shiva, and uh, we have to deeply connect to. Um, with ganapati and offer the food it could um, it was um, solid food or liquid food that was not important but what was important was to really to deeply connect and ask uh, from the heart for him to accept the offering and when he was accepting the offering the food was uh, disappearing So we were offering to a deity who were made from stone, who were made from um, metal, and uh, that experience was to really uh, feel uh, that the deity is not only matter, that uh, the deity is alive, and that we can uh, communicate with uh, her. We can uh, exchange. We can. Uh, offer to her and she can accept the offering she can bless us uh, by accepting the offer and uh, it's just a wonderful experience so we manifest um we well, manifested that act during like um at least i think five hours straight so it was really like uh, a powerful experience uh, when we are manifesting shakti shakti um 
the, the power manifestation uh, is a science and it's directly like um, uh, reinforcing our nervous system, it's uh, changing our biology, it's really like um, operating um, conscious breakthrough from the cell. We are carrying uh, a lot of thoughts, a lot of um, cognition. Uh, that are made from our um, early years, uh, the years between like 0 and 7. Yeah, those focus cognition, root cognition are uh, implanted into the, the system by our education or life experience. And um, when we want to just change our cognition, to just to evolve, to uh, manifest the life we want, uh, we manifesting the Shakti is a way to directly uh, receive, experiment a supraconscious breakthrough. It's really like a mutation, uh, an evolution. So um, during that experience, uh, Lord Ganavati accepts the, the milk that I offered to him, and it was really, really uh, a strong experience because. Um, it was like uh, a process, you know. At first, I had even my my um, limited cognition. I was with a, a really little, uh, tiny <laughs> Ganesha, and uh, I was feeding him uh, milk from a little bowl, and the bowl was almost like uh, as big or bigger than than the deity. Uh, um, so I was like, oh. That will take so much time, and he's so tiny. Uh, what to do? He, he... But uh, that was just silly. That was just like uh, silly because Ganesha is consciousness. He, he is like um, he's like beyond the form. He's beyond the 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 body, beyond the size of the deity. So, uh, and he's the god also. But. Um, help us to, to just like enjoy the sweetness of life and to also like uh, go beyond obstacles. It just like give us breakthrough to go beyond obstacles. And so just like limiting Galilecha with like is the size of the deity was just completely um, reducing, reducing consciousness. And so just after that I had the cognition but no, Lord Ganesha is just huge. Lord Ganesha is like everywhere, he is beyond body. And when that cognition came in my system, settled, I experienced a huge amount of energy in my arm. And that was directly like uh, guiding the movement to offer more milk, to be really completely confident into Ganesha and surrender to him. And I saw what he was drinking. I saw. Uh, I saw that he was accepting the offer, and that um, transported me into like a, a pure joy. A really, uh, it was just an amazing experience. So when we um, manifest the Shakti, we are like going beyond our belief of life, of ourselves, of others. We are going like um, beyond those cognition to just evolve to a next step. That are the gifts that Swamiji, uh, Bhagavan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam, is sharing to the world right now. He is sharing to the world those um, gifts because uh, we need it. We need it. Um, but also because, like, humanity, the whole humanity, need it right now. Um, we need to go to the next level to uh, evolve, but also to survive and just. To, to do something else uh, on planet Earth. So this is a proposal, uh, a proposition that Swamiji is doing right now to the, um, the humanity. Uh, so I invite you really to, to join this process because it's an amazing journey. It's really, really sweet, strong, and uh, it's like not a devel developmental uh, program. It's not just only that. It's really like all the being, um, the dimension of your being that will evolve in uh, this program. So really, do the jump. If you feel like uh, inspired, 
you can contact me by, uh, by message or under the, um, the comment section um, and really register I, I will put the link uh, for, for it okay um, so I have to go back because we have a special uh, darshan with Swamiji right now and I don't want to miss anything so um, have a beautiful day or beautiful night I don't know where you are in the world and see you soon Nityananda If you'd like to know what Hinduism is all about and experience it, Paramashivoham Level 2 is the place to experience, not only to learn, understand, but to live it and experience it and experiencing Paramashiva himself. Register now for Paramashivoham Level 2 at paramashivoham.org forward slash level 2. Thank you, Vidyanam. Till now, I manifested, revealed the signs of state of Paramashiva, space of Paramashiva, powers of Paramashiva. Now, direct process, directly from Paramashiva to manifest the being of Paramashiva because the world is ready. Akash Bhairava is the God who makes all our beings ready for Paramashiva to manifest. It will be centered on Akash Bhairava and making Paramashiva manifest in all of us. The program will be Guru Dakshina based. It will be dependent on you. You can't put any monetary value for it. If 10,000 of us can sit together and manifest the being of Paramashiva, not only we will heal the coronavirus in the whole world, we will give a super conscious breakthrough to the world. Whatever I was talking after the great pass, I am going to make that all into reality. This will be the most life positive happening on planet Earth. All of you. Make the decision to attend Paramashivoham from simple integrity. My purpose is to make you attend sincerely, that's all. Till now, I manifested revealed the signs of state of Paramashiva, space of Paramashiva, powers of Paramashiva. Now, direct process, directly from Paramashiva to manifest the being of Paramashiva because the world is ready. Akash Bhairava is the God who makes all our beings ready for Paramashiva to manifest. It will be centered on Akash Bhairava and making Paramashiva manifest in all of us. The program will be Guru Dakshina based. It will be dependent on you. You can't put any monetary value for it. If 10,000 of us can sit together and manifest the being of Paramashiva, not only we will heal the coronavirus in the whole world, we will give a super conscious breakthrough to the world. Whatever I was talking after the great pass, I am going to make that all into reality. This will be the most life positive happening on planet Earth. All of you, make the decision to attend Paramashivoham from simple integrity. My purpose is to make you attend sincerely, that's all.
Nithyanandam, let's start. Let's sit straight, visualize Bhagavan in third eye and start with the Sadhguru Vandanam. Nithyanandam paramasukadam kevalam yanamurtim Vanvadipam bhagana sadisham tattvamasya vilakshyam Ekam nityam vimalamachalam sarvadi sakshi bhutam Bhavatitam triguna rahitam satgurum tam namami. Nityanandam, welcome to Sri Kailasha Kotia manifesting class session. Welcome everybody. Such a beautiful day, such happening that the whole Sri Kailasha had formed from regenerating from the space of oneness, the space of non-violence, the space of ahimsa, such a beautiful satsang, such a powerful darshan and diksha into higher and higher reality. How beautifully Swamiji said ahimsa, going on and on, living in the presence of Bhagwan and understanding these great truths, living these great truths, and teaching this great truth to everybody else, enriching, is a very, very powerful space that he's creating and which is more powerful than the violence. Violence is only defeating something in your dream. Like how Swamiji said, if I give a gun, it is no use because all you need is one drop of water from the AC. We are just deluded from thinking that violence is going to help us. But waking us up is the real reality. It's the existential reality. That is what Bhagavan is blessing us. There is zero point in fighting within the dream and trying to say it is success or it is failure. The real tyaga is to give up the dream, wake up to the reality and be in the oneness of Paramashiva. The ahimsa again and again tells us to live in the higher reality. How Swamiji is continuously unclutching in spite of he's been harassed right from childhood. In the childhood, the first time when he was sitting and somebody, uh, he told something and somebody said, really wanted to hurt him and simply Kalabirva saved him as a child. Again and again, as he grew up in 2002, from that time, people are harassing and abusing and all kinds of possible things. It's not just one year, two years, it's 18 years since he's taking all this, but there is no reactionary assumption, even an iota of it. Only in compassion, only in solving the whole thing, in only winning the whole thing and giving to the humanity the greatest gift that he has got at the space of Paramashiva for all of us. The undaunted detail of how he is transmitting that greatest science to all of us. And understanding he is not reacting, he is not violent, he is not creating a war, he is not having a law firm, nothing. But just living in that samadhi more deeper and deeper, giving that to the world again and again and making everybody in that beautiful space of oneness and pulling us out of delusion rather than trying to save himself. Again and again, he is doing that for 18 years that we know. Simply because for us to understand how much we are deluded and how much we are struggling and how much we are fighting with all our thought, thought currents. And again and again, living in the space of oneness of Paramashiva and giving up this delusion is Tyaga. The Ahimsa space, the beautiful space of oneness. The violence is when I create the identity between myself and my inner image and outer image and others image and life image. I'm always in conflict, fighting with my identity, not knowing what it is. The source of everything, 
living the source of everything and understanding the higher reality, which is the reason why we even exist, why even we function, why we are able to even perform in simple act is because the Paramashiva space in us even exists. That is the only reason we are not yet dead and we are alive and this body is functioning today. In deep gratitude, deep oneness, understanding the source and not getting deluded with what actions are happening, how many people are abusing, what is going on and just giving up the delusion and only in the space of oneness with Paramashiva is ahimsa. We are fighting constantly with our patterns. We are having a war with all our root patterns and simply again and again throwing tantrums in spite of all the tantrums and the war that we are going through and throwing all kinds of mess. Still Paramashiva is so patient living in us as Paramashanta Swarupa and manifesting all our reality and showering us even for the glimpse of we wanting to be in the oneness. All of us, Swamiji says beautifully, how Ravana struggles, all of us are struggling with so many patterns. But understanding the source is Paramashiva, aligning back again and again and again is the space of nonviolence, Swamiji says. We make mistakes, we make blunders, we make wrong decisions. Nobody is perfect. But understanding that ahimsa is the only space where we can reside in such a oneness space, this beautiful space, non-violence is the only way we can reside in such a beautiful space with Paramashiva. Paramashanta Swarupa is the only way where Bhagwan comes and removes us from the delusion and takes us to the higher reality. The beautiful space of oneness only we understand when we start living that, when we start imbibing Swamiji's teaching and start living in each and every small act that we are doing, we start understanding how core it is and how powerful it is and what kind of a reality it creates when we are able to dissolve that violence around us and simply be in the oneness with Paramashiva. Again and again, living that space and radiating that space is the non-violent space and Thyaga that Swamiji has blessed and given the Diksha for. Now with that powerful initiation, let's start going to the Shastra Pramana. The Shastra Pramana for the power of consciousness over matter is taken from the Shiva Sutras, Sutra 3.18. Swamatra Nirmanam Abadayadi Swamatra Nirmanam Abadayadi Shiva Sutra, Sutra 3.18 experience that the objective world is a product of his subjective consciousness. He creates, he can create and manifest any object or matter. He can create and manifest any object or matter or occurrence that he thinks or desire in the universe within the time and space. If you see such a beautiful space that how Rana is able to take anything and he's able to fly just beyond the, just creating the sound, the mantra. The time and the sound is correlated to so much. They are able to go beyond the space and time when they are in the oneness with Paramashiva. The objective world where we are constantly having the idea about the delusions that we are thinking the perception is the reality, but the subjective consciousness, the experience that we are experiencing in our heart, continuously holding Paramashiva as our experience and having a blissed out space as our subjective consciousness raises us beyond the perception world and makes us manifest the powers of oneness, the powers of multidimensional logic. 
the powers of non-violence again and again instead of fighting with our identity and the perception the world that we are perceiving and going beyond that and being in the oneness with Paramashiva in the subjective consciousness the subjective consciousness is the oneness space the completion space the unclutched space and completely in soaked in how when we make pickles we soak it in salt water for ages and it tastes so good same way soak ourselves into the Paramashiva space the Nitya Ananda space and complete completion space where we are completely blissed out that this raises us to the higher reality the subjective world gives us the beautiful reality that existential reality that we are Paramashiva raising us continuously and living in that beautiful oneness space Swamiji says you will start really tasting the nectar that is in your heart it is like so beautiful uh, how Ramakrishna Paramahamsa once asked Vivekananda what would you do if there is a nectar of immortality Vivekananda said I will go in the corner and taste it that is what we are doing when we just listen to the satsang and just go away Ramakrishna Paramahamsa said go and jump into the nectar why would you do just tasting it is anyway immortality you cannot die in that so living that continuously unbroken as Paramashiva that we are Paramashiva that Swamiji inside us is manifesting everything in us letting Swamiji possess us completely and not giving a space for the mind reactionary assumptions is the space of subjective consciousness let's go to the instruction today we're going to do the materialization the ability to go the hair so let's sit down visualize Swamiji continuously in your third eye contemplate on the space of Paramashiva that Swamiji has spoken about ahimsa non-violence subjective consciousness that Swamiji is telling us in the Sutra contemplate on that and chant the Mahavakya from your navel center the ma mantra Diksha is so powerful Ravana was able to lift Sita and the Vimana just by the sound the sound is much beyond the all the technology Swamiji is initiating us with such a powerful sound and giving us the mantra diksha the mantra diksha takes us beyond and connects us to the ultimate and makes us manifest all these powers so let's sit straight with your neck back and head in a straight line continuously contemplate on what Swamiji has given the powerful cognitions and chant the maha vakya om nityananda paramashivoham Om Nityananda Paramashivoham Om Nityananda Paramashivoham Om Nityananda Paramashivoham Om 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 Om
ಶಿವೋಹಂ ಓಂ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಪರಮ ಶಿವೋಹಂ ಶಿವೋ 
So please go ahead and share this beautiful space with all of your friends and family by sharing it in Sri Kailasha Kotiyad Manifesting Power Group. Take a picture before and after and you can post it and post it with your powerful cognition. Whenever we are in the chink, we are literally pulled out of delusion and whenever we are causing, we are liberated itself. Such a beautiful space is enriching and causing. And that is why it is part of the four powers that Swamiji has given us. Again and again, going and telling the world how amazing these great truths are. And how it is raising you from all the delusion, your struggles, your powerless space, your difficulties and issues. Simply, it is getting beyond all that and showering you with the ultimate. Sharing that with the world again and again makes you live in your reality. We start listening only when we start speaking. And sharing is the most important space because we start listening to the world only when we start really sharing to the world. Again and again, when we contribute to the life, others life is nothing but a reflection of us 
we start raising to the higher and higher reality. So please go ahead and share this beautiful moments, beautiful hot currents and the power manifestation with the world and making others understand and bring them for satsang for just one diksha and you'll see such a beautiful transformation happens in you more than anybody and wonderful space that Swamiji has created today and tomorrow to share the Living Enlightenment book, the e-book. You can share that also. The greatest contribution that Swamiji has given to the humanity. With that, let's surrender all these great truth and powerful cognition and power manifestation to Swamiji's lotus feet. Again and again, when we surrender, we empower ourselves in such a beautiful space of oneness with Paramashiva. So, if you're manifested or not manifested, just go ahead and surrender to Swamiji's lotus feet and with deep gratitude and seeking, start visualizing Swamiji in your third eye and let's end with the Purna Mantra. Um, Purna Madha Purna Midam Purna Purna Madashyate Purnasya Purna Mataya Purna Meva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hi Hari Om Tat Sat Sarvam Bhagate Sri Nityanda Parmashyam Padukarpa Namastu Om Nityanandam Thank you Swamiji, thank you everybody. See you in the next satsang and power manifestation. Don't miss all the great things happening on March 2nd and March 3rd. Especially the Chandi Foma is the ultimate possibility for us to raise to the higher reality. Thank you, Nityanandam. <laughs>